Hi. What I'd like to share with you is scripture from the book of um, 1 Samuel, um, chapter um, 28, um, starting with, um, with verse 4. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid and his heart greatly trembled. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord, Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman who has a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman who has a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray you divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up, whom I shall name unto you. And a woman said unto him, Behold, you know what Saul has done, how he has cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then will you snare for, for my life to cause me to die? And Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord lives, there shall no punishment happen to you for this thing. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto you? And, she, and he said, Bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spoke to Saul, saying, Why have you deceived me? For you are Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what saw you? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And he, she said, An old man comes up, and he's covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed. For the Philistines make war against me, and God has departed from me, and answers me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called you, and that you make that you may make known unto me what it shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore then do you ask of me, seeing the Lord has departed from you, and is become your enemy? And the Lord has done to him as he spoke by me, for the Lord has rent the kingdom out of your hand and given unto your, given it to your neighbor, even to David, because you obeyed not the voice of the Lord, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore has the Lord done this thing unto you this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with you, into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow shall you and your sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along on the earth, and was so afraid, because of the words of Samuel, and there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all day, all the day, nor all the night. And a woman came unto Saul and said that and saw that, that he was sore troubled. And said unto him, Behold, your handmaid has obeyed your voice, and I put my life in my hand, and have hearkened unto your words which you have spoken unto me. Now therefore I pray you, hearken you also unto the voice of your handmaid, and let me set a morsel of bread before you, and eat that you may have strength when you go on your way. But he refused and said, I will not eat, but his servants together with the women compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. So he arose from the earth and sat on the set upon the bed and a woman had a fat calf in the house and she hastened and killed it and took flour and kneaded it and did bake unleavened bread thereof and he and she brought it before saul and before his servants and they did eat then they rose up and went away that night now um those scriptures right there are talking about um king saul who um at this point in point in his life is um really really at a downward spiral i mean he he had disobeyed the um lord when he w was commanded to um 
slay all the people of Am Amalek, um, and um, eventually the Lord, Spirit of the Lord departed from him, and he was given an evil spirit from the Lord to torment him, and, and um, David was called in to um, soothe him of his um, of his evil spirit, but um, apparently um, because of David's victory against um, Goliath and his um, handling of the Philistines, um, Saul became envious of David and sought to kill him. And um, he even went so far as to have um, the, the priest of the Lord be killed by the hand of Doeg the Edomite, um, who was a servant to him. And, um, and and David spared his life twice at this point. I mean, I mean, this is a man that that deserved to die, but um, but because he was the Lord's anointed, um, David spared his life twice. And now, now he, now um. Saul's facing a battle with the Philistines, and he uh, tried to ask the Lord for advice, but unfortunately, the Lord didn't answer him neither by Urim nor by prophets, or by or even by dreams. And um, so, so Saul was see seeking out um, spiritual advice through um, means that the Lord had no, has not permitted his people to do. Um, which is through um, through a witch and through through a medium and one a woman that had a familiar spirit and um, so because um, Saul Saul had um, gotten rid of all the um, mediums and spiritists and um, land of Israel, he had to seek, was hard pressed to seek out a, one that, that had a familiar spirit, and there was one in Edor, and um, she, he came to her um, um, as for as for help, and um, she, she was basically afraid because because of um, what Saul did to the other, um, other witches that, that were in the area, and Saul promised by the Lord that no harm would come unto her, and um, I mean she, and he's, and he, yeah, she asked, "Who do you want me to bring up?" And um, he, he said, "Samuel the prophet," and um, and th this is where. Um, This, this part is where words becomes rather debatable. Or, or, I mean, what, whether um, wh whether this medium has um, co conjured up um, S Samuel um, spirit from from the um, other world or not. I mean, it it's more likely that th this is the Lord's doing. Um, that that wit, witch really did nothing, and um, she just um, what what and probably Lord brought brought him up to to um, to to to, to um, con condemn Saul for his actions and his seeking out a uh, seeking out medium. For, um, and he ended, he ended up die, dying um, in battle. Um, he and his th three sons, including including Jonathan, who was David's friend, and uh, and lesson in all this is basically that you shouldn't uh, 
that's with um, mediums and people with familiar spirits because um, their power is not from the Lord, but it's from the devil. I mean, anyway, that's all I have to really say in this um, video. So, have a good day, and God bless you.